The Roaring Twenties are destined to be what the 60s tried to be but couldn't fully get to. In the 60s, we broke out all over the world en masse to realize that we are not here to be a cog in the machinery. We are not here to service the establishment. We are not here to button up our lips and put a clamp on our spirit. We're here to be the outrageous, unique individuals that we are. We're here for reasons of love, art, and creativity. We're here to unite rather than separate and break apart. The 60s started to do that all over the world, and it scared the shit out of opposing forces. The morality guardians struck back with a vengeance. The CIA created Operation Mockingbird to plant uh, operatives inside mainstream media to convince everyone that the love revolution was uh, an illusion, was a mass hypnosis caused by too many drugs rather than anything real um, because they were scared shitless that uh, black and whites would forget their differences, rich and poor would forget their differences, gays and straights, men and women would forget their differences and all would combine together to overthrow an unjust and corrupt delusional system. So the 60s of the revolution started something that got aborted, but it went underground. Like many movements that emerge ahead of their time, when they're stopped by social forces above ground, they burrow below the ground into the human soul, where the revolution has been kept alive. It's as well been kept alive outwardly by uh, certain movements that uh, that didn't get stopped, that didn't die. But that flame, those torches are burning now in the internal consciousness of people all around the world. Now that we've entered the roaring 20s, just like the 1920s, there is an urge to cut loose, to break loose, to find new dances, to meet in those cafes in Paris and Berlin and Amsterdam and Madrid and New York and Chicago and San Francisco to meet in those cafes of the mind where we can share new ideas, ideas that can set the world on fire, ideas that carry excitement, rebirth, busting out, breaking loose, not in some of the immature ways we started to do in the 60s. I'm not telling you to run away from home, drop acid, go to hate Ashbury and uh, experience free love and free drugs, but that that same spirit needs to be rekindled. That whatever stuck machinery has descended upon you and those you love, it's time to bust out.